Um, my name is Chad Rudd, and I'm the majority leader from Wolf County, and uh, Jerry's kind of by himself today, so he asked for me to at least come up here for a second. Uh, I know most everyone in here except for the four of us uh, probably don't have any idea of what students sent it, what we do, what our, what our purpose, what our causes are. Well, all, all high schools have a student senate majority leader and then they have two student senators and basically what our what our goals what our objectives are every year is to increase attendance increase the climate and culture in our buildings bridge the gap between the middle and high school and if if at all possible increase academic behaviors a um, couple things that we've done traditionally this is the fourth year of the student senate plan and a couple things that we've done we've created a wall of fame at wolf county high school and it's in our commons area where students, these are, these are non-athletes, uh, where students can see people that have graduated from Wolf County High School that's went on to, to do things. Uh, we have chemists, we have writers uh, highlighted there. Also, another thing that we've done is we put monitors in throughout our building to keep students aware of attendance. We do that weekly, as well as also upcoming test events, uh, uh, ACT boot camps, that type of thing. Jerry's going to talk about what uh, his group's going to do. Um, this year, as we're moving forward, we've decided to do um, a few things that we've done in the past that we thought done really, really well. And uh, one of which would be um, our, uh, we do a breakfast for our uh, first responders. And this is because there seems to be a negative outlook towards some of our first responders, like police officers, things like that. Some people have a negative outlook towards them, and, and we kind of just want to bring everyone together and, and help out the community in that way. And then um, another thing that we're doing that uh, we started last year is a STEM day, which the STEM day is probably my favorite thing uh, out of everything that we do. It, it, gets, um, it gets everyone involved. It, in case you don't know what STEM means, it's, it's uh, science, technology, engineering, math. And all it is, it's we take all of our elementaries from around uh, and we bring them up to, this year we're going to bring them all up to our high school. Or originally we did the elementary, but this year we've decided to do um, our high school. And we're going uh, to take and bring them around and they can have, in, um, they can have lessons. Like, uh, for example, uh, last year, I, my group, I led around a group, um, two separate groups. And they did a um, origami class, and they just did some simple origami and stuff. And uh, and then in and then in another room we went into, they did, learned about uh, anatomy and things like that. But then um, some other groups did uh, other things, like someone made ice cream and stuff like that. And yeah, cotton candy and the kids. <laughs> yeah, the, t the elementary school teachers love us. We jack them up on cotton candy and send them back. But, um, and then uh, another project that we're working on, uh, we've recently had some people come to us and stuff, and we were thinking this our ourselves. Uh, we added a new addition to our school, but now we have this patch of uh, uh, green grass, and it would look really good to have some picnic tables there and maybe like an outdoor eating area. And that's to, uh, uh, for school culture, it would uh, help that and benefit that. So we've decided to, we've dealt with uh, our technology teachers and uh, students, and they're going to build some uh, picnic tables and stuff like that, and we're going to put that out there so uh, students can go out there and sit and eat and develop relationships and things like that. But, yeah, thank you all.